me today in this absolute mental flipping tank it's, it's so, the presence is so so big like I'm six foot six yeah but this just makes me feel like a tiny little kid it is absolutely massive and you know what it helps it as well see the color it's in green I don't usually like green but this just this is I think this is the right color for this car it's a 2021 Land Rover Defender 110 SE model yeah so uh, it's got the 3 litre diesel engine straight 6 and it's pushing 250 horsepower and 420 foot pounds of torque through a 8 speed um, 8 speed I think, it's a, I, think it's a, I think it's a ZF box it feels like a ZF box I'm not a million percent sure but it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a torque converter box so uh yeah what can i say about this drive super comfortable i've been in range rovers i haven't been in no defenders as such and you wouldn't even know the difference like if i was a passenger and blindfolded and said spot the difference in one after the other i'd think they're the same blooming vehicle so good man and yeah guys, the, the ride quality is just unreal. As I said about the Range Rover quality. <laughs> I see, I'm seeing drain holes and stuff like that and I'm trying to, my brain says dodge it. But cause it's so wide, you actually physically can't. So you go over it and you're like, oh, but nothing happens. It just soaks it up like a sponge. Crazy, crazy car, man, I'm telling you. And yeah, the, the tires are, 
massive things. I think they're two, two, five, five, sixty, twenties. So with that sixty in, uh, sixty mil profile, I think that's why I can't, I can't feel nothing. It's like a lorry tire. Crazy man. Yeah, and I've got to say, it's a bit, it's a bit crazy. This, this car's won for three years, the world's best design award if that makes any sense to you. I think it's the crazy, because you think of the old Defenders, the old Defenders were just a big metal box with some geezer in it with a bit of straw hanging out of his mouth going hang, 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 hang down the road. No, this, this is nothing like that, but it will do that, it will do that if you want it to. But like I said, it's, it's so versatile. You, you've got space in the back of this, it's like a transit van, but it just feels like a Range Rover. I just can't get over it, it just don't make, don't make sense it's trying to do so many things and it does them all brilliantly yeah and the performance of this big heavy tank 0 to 62 is 8.3 seconds i don't know if i said that previously top speeds 117 120 miles per hour um what else was there yeah and this tank weighs just over 2.3 tons and surprisingly, the steering's so light, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like that. And when you're putting your foot down, yeah, it, it doesn't move like it's 2.3 tons. It feels, it feels, feels lighter than that. But looking at it, if you're not in it, you think, yeah, that's two and a half, three ton. You literally think it's like a Hummer. It's so high. I'm higher than other people in, I think I was next to another Range Rover and I was a good one or two inches higher than him. Crazy little thing, man. Well, big thing to be fair, not little. <laughs> and in this model, there's two variants. There's a 90 and there's a 110. This one is the 110. The 90's got three doors and this one's the 110 with five doors. And this is the commercial hardtop version. In the back of this thing, there's so much storage. There's anchorage so you can hook things left, right and center, wherever you want. There's at least I think there's more than 12 or 15 charging points. There's like a charging point at the back to just, I don't know, yeah, charge anything. But it's got more than what you need, to be fair. You could go camping with this easy. No one's running out of battery on their phones or tablets, etc. It's blimmin' crazy, this thing. Ready to go to any trip. Yeah, guys, the uh, infotainment system in this, it's called a Pivi Pro, I believe, and I've messed around with a lot of the other, like the German infotainment systems, because they're obviously the higher, the high end, you know, the top guys are doing all this stuff. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm kind of blown away with this. This setup is very, very, very good. You know, it's got the uh, Apple CarPlay. It's fast, the touch is very responsive. I do really like it. And all this section here with like the air conditioning levels, they don't feel cheap, you know? Usually when you press them, they're just like plasticky, click, click. These are like, they look like a dense rubbery feel and that it just feels, feels, feels more expensive. You know, you've got aluminium around here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a decent, really decent uh, dashboard disc. Like obviously the car's worth 60,000 pounds with certified or certain options chosen. And it, it feels, it feels worth 60,000, but doesn't, in a weird way. I know why it's 60 grand, but I don't think if I had 60,000 pounds spare to buy a car that's doing, you're gonna want it to do quite a few things, aren't you? And it, it, does, it does loads of things, but I don't think it will do the things that I would need. I'd, I'd need more seats. You know, I don't know if, I'm not too sure if this one, if they do these models with more seats at the back the back area is literally just um, storage. But there is a third seat here that does come up, which is an armrest at the minute with cup holders. Um, so yeah, it can be a free seat. I think it will be quite squashy though with me. I don't know, it's because I'm quite big. But yeah, free seaters at the front. It's not really a family. It's not ideal for family. But the Defender, mate, it's made for them farmers. Like I said with that hay, mate. I'm going to get me haystacks. <laughs> what I'm saying. So I think it's absolutely spot on for them, mate. I'm telling you, the way it just glides along the road, people look at you like, "What is that?" Because they're used to seeing Range Rovers everywhere. Everyone wants a Range Rover, a Range Rover. 
Evo uh, what is it? Evokes, the small ones. You've got Vogues, SVRs. This is different. The, the, the looks that I'm getting when I'm driving this down the road, they're like, what? They're, their brain's trying to work out. They know it looks kind of similar to a range, but it's not. And it looks beasty. It's so high and you've got the mud flaps at the back and make it look all stancy and wide. Yes. I think this, this car has definitely got its own spot. There's no other, there's no other four x four that I've been around or been in, in my, in my opinion, that's like this. So yes, it's ticked hella, loads of boxes for being a, 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 what is it? A pioneering four x four. It's got all the, um, what do we call it? Low, was it low, low friction or low grip level to pull off low range, low range, all these low range things for the gearbox so you can, if you get stuck and you go in, you know, like high terrain areas and you can't get through, you can do a little switch on there and get through. I'm not clued up on all that. This is really, this, this whole thing is a new world to me. Um, recording stuff and putting it on YouTube, I thought it would take me out of my comfort zone. So hopefully you guys knowing that will uh, give me a little like because I'm trying to spread some information about these because as I said, I think I think they're highly they're, I think they'll be highly wanted, especially people that live like you know countryside and you countryside they were Range Rovers. If I lived in the countryside, which I don't, I think I'd want one of these over a Range. I think I would, but um, I live in, I live in the towns and cities, and you know me, guys. I'd have the F90 M5 competition. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah guys, the parking in this in this big tank is is how can I explain? It's got all the little gadgets and gizmos to make it easier, but where it's a, over a 2.3 ton absolute tank, you're still nervous, you know, like you, you've got you can put it in reverse, obviously you've got the cameras that come up. The cameras come up on here. Um it tells you where you're going when you turn the steering wheel, etc. And I still, I still don't feel confident. I'm not a rubbish driver. I've been driving over 10 years now. You know, I've had many cars, over 100 different vehicles. And it's just, yeah, it's just not confidence inspiring. Um, the rear view mirror, there's one here where the normal rear view mirror would be in a car, but it's a digital rear view. So there's a camera on the roof on top of this car, 4x4, Jeep, whatever, facing sort of back downwards. Um, and I noticed in traffic, you can't see cars that are like literally behind you in the traffic lights. So you can't really see much. I know you've got the camera down there, but I don't want to have to keep putting that on just to look in the mirror and see what's behind me or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So that's, that's a bit of a, a bit of a downside. But yeah, driving it around town, this, 60 grand did it mate like it feels it feels 60 grand it does driving along it does feel it does feel definitely feels the price tag you know but yeah drive like back to the parking it's got the 360 view camera of the whole thing and it's got automatic automatic self parking i think it's called i don't think i, I same again i don't trust that i like to just do it all myself a bit old school um i might have to try it you know before giving this back to the owner. Um, I might do it with him, you know, I'm not, I don't even want to do it without him. But yeah, guys, not much else. I think, I think I've covered nearly everything. It's got, uh, it's got untold liters of storage space in the back. I'm sure you can see by the small clips that I'm gonna overlay as I'm speaking now. Um, not much else I can talk about. A big spare wheel on the back window, if that's any, any uh, informative news to you guys, instead of it being underneath on a Range Rover, it's on the, the back, big back openings. Is it? Yeah, the door comes out towards, the door comes out towards you, it doesn't go up, obviously. So yeah, not much else I can talk about, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I thought I'd show you guys this uh, brand new car that I think most of you haven't seen before. Um, yeah. If you're still 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 watching, uh, thanks.
and if you consider liking sharing subscribing that would uh, mean loads to me trying to expand the channel and uh, let me know in the comments below if there's any other cars that you want me to review and yeah thanks for watching take care guys bye